Hey ladies, welcome back and happy new years. If you are liking this look, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Jumping right in, the company I will be working with today is Uni's Hair. Of course, they sent me an elastic band, some wig caps, a cute drawstring bag so you can store your wig, and then the wig bag that the hair came in. And then they sent me this cute rhinestone pink bedazzled Uni's straightener. I love it. This is the unit. This is their 13 by 4 HD kinky straight lace wig. It did come in 24 inches and 180 density. This hairline did come pre-plucked. Um, all I had to do was bleach the knots off camera and it does come with an adjustable elastic band, three combs and adjustable straps in the back. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my excess lace using an eyebrow razor. And here I'm just showing you guys that the lace is HD, like I said. I didn't put no makeup or anything on this lace and it's already given scalp. Like that's already looking like my hair and I ain't did nothing to it. So I just wanted to show you guys um, before we got, you know, in depth and deep to the install, what the lace was looking like fresh out of the pack with the lace cut. And yeah, it's definitely giving. Um, Uni's hair has been coming through lately with, you know, the pre-plucked units. All right. So now I'm just adjusting everything, making sure I like the placement of my lace. Once I get the okay, we're going to go ahead and going to use our Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. This is their skin guard that I like to spray first. You want to do a nice little layer of that, let that air dry. And next I'm going to go in with the Hold Me Down Watermelon Adhesive. Now I will only be doing two to three layers of this using my rat tail comb um, in between and I'm just smoothing everything out and as you guys can see it goes on white and it is going to dry clear now you need to move a little quick with this adhesive um, I do find that if you just let it sit it will dry very fast and you don't want you know build up or a gunk of glue somewhere that you were supposed to spread out so as you see me doing i am going to be working in sections moving a little swiftly a little quickly um, i started in the middle and then i just started doing my right hand side and then while that's drying i'm going to go to the left hand side and then we're just going to keep doing in rotation like i said until we do about two or three times and then once everything is nice and dry and you'll know it's dry because it's clear it's gonna dry clear as you guys can see like the adhesive i put on my forehead is gone so um just going to keep layering and like i said i do this three times um you can do the dot method or spread it out however you want to do it however you prefer it really doesn't matter just as long as you spread out the adhesive evenly and it's not a buildup or a bunch of glue sitting in one spot i find that that's what works the best now um, once I get that done, like I said, I'm just moving over to the next section and then just overlapping to the other section while in between I'm letting those dry. Now, um, while we're doing that, you want to go in with your songbird blow dryer just to help speed up the process. If you know, you are impatient like me. Um, once we do this little last side, I'm going to go in with my songbird, songbird blow dryer and I'm just going to give it a nice little blow dry before we press everything in and seal the deal with that lace. Once that's done, um, we're going to go in with our foundation powder, conceal everything, make sure it's looking like scalp and then get ready to style. Once everything is clear, I'm just going to gently lay the lace on top. You don't want to press down too hard or too firm until you get the proper placement of where your lace is going to lay. So now I'm just pulling everything down, making sure everything's nice and flush, looking like how it's supposed to look. You want to make sure you 100% cover up that ball cap. 
um, and any excess lace you have, just gently press that in with your finger and any excess lace from that. Other than that, we're going to cut off. I do like to use my rat tail comb to kind of comb the adhesive into the lace or comb the lace into the adhesive. I find that, I don't know, it just gives it more of that melt look that I'm going for and yeah. Um, once that is done, I am going to go in with this Kiss Foundation Cream Powder, or sorry, Foundation Cream Concealer, sorry, in the shade Caramel or Caramel. And I'm just going to pop that right into the lace in the areas that it looks a little too ashy or white for me. Um, I am a color girl, you know. So we gotta bring that color back in. Now I'm just going to blend all of that out with my buffing brush. And I got that from my local beauty supply store. You really can use that or a finger, it really doesn't matter. Um, once we get through with that, this is what the lace is looking like. Definitely giving scalp. Now I'm gonna take my Eben or Eben. This is their sensitive skin um, adhesive spray. Um, this is an alternative for glue. If you don't want to do glue, you can use an adhesive spray. And it's just the same amount as, or just the same thing as got to be or you know the bolt hole liquid gold any type of glueless um glue adhesive or spray adhesive this is basically what that is so i'm just going in small sections and pressing that in with my finger and then melting all of that down with my songbird blow dryer if you get any excess lace anywhere just dab it with a paper towel like i did I do find that you using your comb while you're blow drying helps so the spray does not adhere to the hair. Um, you know, it is, you gotta treat it like regular hairspray. If you just let it sit on top of your hair and not combing it out, it's going to be hard and stiff and might flake. You don't want that. So now I'm just going in on the other side, gently pressing all the stuff in that I need to. Any excess spray that, like I said, that you guys see, get that off with a paper towel. And I am using my rat tail comb and my blow dryer just to comb the lace into the adhesive or comb the adhesive into the lace like so. Once we get through with that, now I'm going to take my Eunice elastic band. Um, I love their Velcro elastic bands and we are just going to tie that down. Now, while that's baking up under that lace band, I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm going to silk press, or not silk press, just press out the whole front of the frontal. You want this to get nice and flat and neat looking. You don't want it looking, you know, like a wig on your head. Um, your hot comb is your best friend. Make sure you are holding and tucking them ears, okay? Because I have burnt myself plenty of times and we are not trying to do that. Once that is done, we're gonna take that lace off and this is what the scalp is given, okay? That's definitely my hair. Now we're going to, going to do a bust down middle part. Now I never wear kinky straight hair, so I don't know. Some just made me want to try something out the box. Now I'm just taking my wax stick and just putting a little bit on top where my part is. And to define all of that, I'm going to go in with my Con Air hot comb. And as you guys can see, I want it flat. You see the difference, and I wanted to show you guys the difference of one side once it's flat, nice and neat with the hot comb, and then the other side that is still kind of poofy or bumpy a little bit. You want to get that laid down as flat as possible. So here I am taking my little time, um, hot combing through. Make sure you hit the front and the top, not just the front or not just the top. Make sure you're hitting both. You see the difference? You see that makes? It makes a huge, huge difference. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the other side like so. Get everything nice and neat, nice and flat. I don't want no Humpty Dumpty, none of that. It needs to look like my scalp. Now I'm gonna go in with the same cream concealer. Um, this is in the shade Honey Beige and I'm going to pop that right into my part just to define it, make it all nice and neat. We wanna get rid of that net look. Now I'm gonna take my Clear Raw Root Touch Up Spray and this is in the shade Black. I got this from Amazon for about 20 bucks, comes in a two pack and this is a lifesaver. If you are not a fan of the um, Black Root Spray or you just don't know how to use it, this is your go-to. Now, I am going to keep this hair in the original texture, so I'm just taking my blow dryer and just kind of running it through the um, hair, just trying to stretch it out a little bit, and then I do maneuver in between, or sorry, switch in between my Songbird blow dryer comb and then my brush, my paddle brush. Um, you can do either or. I found that doing both made the gave me the result that I was looking for. So I'm hoping that you guys are getting what I'm trying to say. Here's one side stretched out, 
with the blow dryer and then this is the other side completely untouched fresh out the box so you see the difference like it just toned down the kinky straight and that's the look we were going for now this is the finished look i'm in love again this is Eunice hair this is their 13 by 4 hd kinky straight unit get into that lace it's definitely giving out baby we coming into the new year big and ready no baby hairs needed at all super 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 beginner friendly and easy to install all right and like i said i never wear kinky straight hair and i gotta give this a 10 out of 10 like i made this look good i was nervous for a little bit you know but overall i love this hair i got no shedding and no tangling um this hair is super super full root to tip you cannot see through this hair at all as you guys can see is definitely giving body kinky straight and it's for this to be 180 density baby it was full like i said root to tip look at all that body look at all that luster and this is 24 inches. I am five foot even, and this comes literally to my butt. So you guys see it's true to length. Um, density is full, everything's true to length. True density, everything. Like, I love it. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. I'm coming in strong for the 2023. Y'all, we is coming back to back with these hair tutorials, okay? So, let me know what y'all think below. Don't be scared to comment and leave a like. I love you guys so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.